Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Real Life Reviews on the Living Brand Homestead. Today we're out in the garden. We're going to review this quick tent greenhouse. This is advertised as the most affordable greenhouse on Amazon, and it definitely is the most affordable house on Amazon. This particular version just happens to be the most modified. Now, we're not going to get into all the modifications in this content that you're watching now, but that is soon to come. I just want to go over some of the basics, generalized review of the product, how I feel about the product and what my recommendations are to make it last a long time. Let's get into the review. Now it's 10 feet wide by 20 feet deep and you're gonna see a lot of things that don't come with it. For example, the door that we're gonna go in, this wooden frame around it, all that wood at the bottom, that's not part of it. That's just what I have modified in order to make this thing last. The 15 foot version, the 20 foot version or the 25 foot version you build it all the same. The biggest complaint about this greenhouse is that it is very, very flimsy. And people will give it terrible ratings because it moves so much. Now, mine doesn't move. Um, and the reason why mine doesn't move, I have it screwed and mounted to a, a, a piece of wood here. And then the wood is structurally sound. And also another reason why is because I went the extra length and I put these extra ribs in, okay, and I zip tied them. I made sure that all of my hardware was secure. I did build a wooden frame on each end. For the money, they're worth it. This plastic right here, this is gonna break down in a couple of years, but they sell greenhouse plastic all day long anywhere. Another complaint is that these seams tear down right here. Yep, it's gonna tear down like I was talking about a while ago. These are definitely gonna tear down. There's nothing you can possibly do about these zippers. My zippers are gonna stay closed. Plastic zippers under UV light every single day is gonna fail 100% of the time. There's nothing you can do to get around it. They give you a little green twine to go in between each rib so that it won't hold water. I didn't do that because I added the PVC. You can see I added the PVC there and that pushes that water out. And I also didn't use that twine. I went ahead and stepped up mine to so just a little bit of nylon cord here. That'll have to be replaced about every year or so as it breaks down. But Really, there's nothing to it. I just made an, you know, I made an X around the, across the top of it, and I just used the same method. I screwed it into the wood here. Yes, I know that my PVC does come down in front of all of my windows, but I mean, this is this is in my garden, and that's not going to restrict any wind. And the instructions, you know, are like any other thing that we deal with these days. They're going to have little numbers on here. I'm going to switch over to another video now that kind of explains how the instruction goes. If I'm at the back of the greenhouse and I'm looking straight at it, the two start up front and it's three all the way back for your horizontal pieces. For the pieces that are perpendicular, it's four on that side, five on this side. All of your vertical pieces will be eights, all of your vertical pieces on this side will be sevens. Once you get started in the rear and work your way forward, all of the pieces are the same. There's a whole lot of other reviews out there, but I'm gonna tell you, in my book, I did my research. I've had these before, and they are only as good as you build them. So if you just get the basic, and you know it's the economy greenhouse, and you and you bring it down, and you have a, you have a hard wind, you're gonna find this thing like a trampoline, and your garbage can is gonna be down the street and bent beyond repair. But if you do your due diligence and put a few dollars with it, you can have something really nice that'll last many, many years. We're really excited about that. And for the dollar, it's a really good value and something that we're gonna appreciate and be thankful for on this homestead. If you wanna go back and look at this review again or look at some of the things I'm doing, then all you have to do is hit that thumbs up and it will save it in your like videos. And you can go back and look at it at any time. There will be a couple of more videos along with this quick tent because uh, I know some folks are gonna to wanna to see how I did the bottom structure and the top and how I did the PVC and I kinda of capture all that, but it's just too much to put in one video. If you have any questions or comments about this product, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. I will put a link to it in the description as always. Now, if you like content like this or want to see the upcoming videos about this quick tent, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and click that bell for future notifications. We'd love your friendship here at Real Life Reviews on the Living Bread Homestead. Until the next video, Lord bless you. Bye-bye.